everyone. We're going to keep the fun and games rocking and rolling with our August 5 and 1 specials, and we're going to play Jeopardy on the PlayStation 2. We're switching things up a little bit. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Sony Pictures Studio. This is Jeopardy. Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. Let's see what we have. Boating with Noah. Interesting. Hi, Tiger. State seals. Hmm. Cats and dogs. All right. Hmm. Number, please. It's a good category. Hmm. Judge not. And our final category. All right. Authors and their works. Player one, if you would start us off, please. Authors and their works, 200. Two Huzzars is a short story by this author of the very long novel, War and Peace. It was Tolstoy. Hey, you got it. You're still in control of the board, player one. He wrote The Pathfinder and The Last of the Mohicans. Who is James Gunn Cooper? That's right. Much of this Vanity Fair author's novel, Henry Esmond, takes place during the reign of Queen Anne. Who was William Makepeace Thackeray? You bet. Player two, your turn. Cats and dogs for 200. The turn down corner of a book page or Fido's hearing organ. What is a dog here? Correct. Player one, your turn. If you divulge a secret, you're letting the cat out of this. What is the bag? Right you are. A.K.A. a ballista, it was an ancient military weapon for hurling missiles. Hey, you got it. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. 
1974 hit song was titled, The Cat's in This. What is the cradle? Correct. Check again. This canine term refers to the hot, sultry period between July and September. What are the dog days of summer? That's right. This female Pulitzer Prize winner wrote The Bell Jar. Who is Sylvia Plath? Correct. Player two, you choose. Judge not for 200. A cutting criticism or a violent closing of a door. Very good. Player one, it's your turn. Proverbially, to express contempt, you thumb this body part. What's your nose? Very good. You pick again. As a verb, it's to disparage strongly. As a noun, it's rubbish or garbage. What is trash? Right. From the Latin for to scatter, these calumnious expressions are cast on others. What are aspersions? Yes. Player three, your turn. Boating with Noah for 200. It's the biblical book in which Noah's story is told. Right you are. Over to you, player one. This weather phenomenon was a sign to Noah from God that he would never flood the earth again. What's a uh, hurricane? No, that's not right. Sorry. What is a rainbow? Exactly. Player three, it's your turn. State seals for 200. Symbols on its seal include icebergs and the northern lights. What's Alaska? Very good. Player one, your turn. Although not known for its wineries, Connecticut has three of these plants on its state seal. What are grapevines? That's correct. This insect structure, a honey of a symbol for hard work and industry, graces Utah's seal. Right. South Dakota's state seal features a riverboat steaming along this major river. What is the Missouri? Right. This bird is depicted on Louisiana's state seal in a nest with her three young. That's it. This Florentine author of The Prince also wrote a history of Florence. Who's Machiavelli? Well done, yes. One of the three other men on the ark. Who is Shem? Yes. 
Player two, what'll it be? Number, please, for 200. Years and a score. Exactly. Player one, it's your turn. Horseman of the Apocalypse. What is four? That's it exactly. Your choice, player two. Number, please, for 600. Days of Christmas in the popular song. Exactly. Player one, you choose. Seconds in one hour. Yes! Feet and a mile. Hey, you're correct. The length of the rainstorm. Very good. You pick again. And the ark rested in the seventh month upon the mountains of this. What is Ararat? Hey, you're correct. The final answer on this board is... From Old Norse for grin scornfully, you may do it over your enemy's misfortunes. Right. $14,000 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Okay, that's all for the Jeopardy round. Now we'll take a look at the scores. Bravo, player one. You're all alone in first place. Okay, let's get to the double je Jeopardy round. And now, the categories for the double Jeopardy round. The Adam Sandler story. Zoology. Edibles. 20th century novels. Straight talk. The last category is... Begins and ends with the letter M. This time, player three will start us off. The Adam Sandler Story for 400. After Dennis Miller caught Adam's act at the Improv in L.A., he was invited to join this show in New York City. Correct. Player one, your turn. In 1998, Adam Sandler was Bobby Boucher, this titled boy at a Louisiana university. What is the water boy? Precisely. Pick again. Adam Sandler was an executive producer of this 1999 film in which Rob Schneider cavorted as a male gigolo. What is Deuce Gigolo? Correct. In a 1998 comedy, Adam finds love with Drew Barrymore as this title ceremonial crooner. Very good.
good. You pick again. In a classic scene, Bob Barker and Adam duke it out at the Pro-Am tourney in this 1996 golf comedy. What is Happy Gilmore? That's right. The last one officially began January 1st, 1001. Right, pick again. Psychic size between small and large. Precisely, pick again. According to the title of a 1953 film, it's what Ethel Merman wanted to be called. Right. In a special promotion, Rite Aid pharmacies have tied this medical test to Mother's Day. Right, pick again. We're talking major whirlpool with this. I'm sorry, that's wrong. What is Maelstrom? That's right. All right, player three, what'll it be? Edibles for 400. Caviar is salted roe, which are these items from female fish. Yes. Player one, you choose. An old myth says never eat these bivalves in months without the letter R in them. Very good. You pick again. Many Russians love to pick these fungi, known as greeby, and cook them in sour cream. Exactly. Joseph and Edward Tetley opened a shop to sell this drink product in 1837. That's it exactly. As opposed to the whipped type, the Devonshire style of this dairy product is clotted. Correct. Pick again. There are often bluebirds over this European strait indicated here. Take a look at your monitor. Very good. You pick again. During the Ice Age, the sea fell and this strait became a land bridge between Asia and North America. Precisely. Pick again. A westerly flowing undercurrent removes salty water from the Mediterranean via this strait. Correct. Pick again. Traffic in this South American strait has increased because many supertankers are too large to use the Panama Canal.
Very good. You pick again. On July 3rd, 1988, an Iranian airliner en route to Dubai was shot down over this Mideast Strait by a U.S. warship. Precisely. Pick again. In its last chapter, the hero tells his father, love means not ever having to say you're sorry. Right. Ralph survives on the island, but Piggy is less lucky in this William Golding classic. Right you are. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Albert Camus' French work, L'Etranger, has been translated as The Outsider, but more commonly as this. Precisely, I begin. Norman Mailer was just 25 when this naked 1948 bestseller, his first novel, was published. Correct. Pick again. Answer, The Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Saul Bellow's title characters include Herzog, Humboldt, and this man, the Rain King. No, sorry. This is the correct question. A squirrel uses this fluffy appendage for balance when it leaps or climbs. Very good. You pick again. Africa is home to both the greater and lesser types of these long-legged, curvy-necked pink wading birds. Right. Pick again. Wow! The upside-down type of this feline fish really does swim upside down. Correct. People and lions are the main predators of this tallest mammal. Yes, indeed. The final answer on this board is... This arthropod is nicknamed the hundred-legger, though some may have 170 pairs of legs. Hey, you got it. On to Final Jeopardy and I $50,000. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? Impressive lead, player one. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We're going to take a look at the category, then we'll give you a few seconds to think about your wager. $19,000. Century Sports. Go ahead, make your wager. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. Jackson Haynes, previously a teacher of this dance style, introduced its moves to figure skating.
see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was... Player two, I see that you like to live dangerously, but you're right. Way to go. Your question, player three, was... Not correct. That'll cost you. Let's see how much. Ooh, sorry. Player one, your question was... That's correct. And your wager? I up with $90,000 this game. And I'll see you all for the next segment right after this break. You're all to be commended for your play. Let's hear it for our winner. <laughs> Player one. See you next time for another exciting game of Jeopardy.